Hi guys, welcome to another video from Overbike Gaming. Um, apologies for the voice today, he's suffering a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll try and get through. I'm doing this earlier than I normally would before this really kicks off, so <laughs> we'll see how we go. Uh, also, apologies for any uh, small human noises you hear in the background because they are once again decided to play in the street, which is lovely. So today we're taking a look at Hellblade 2 Senua Saga. Now, we reviewed the original Hellblade, uh, Senua Sacrifice, on this channel, and uh, uh, Snare and I both liked it, pretty much. Um, this one, I'm far less positive about, uh, primarily because it costs twice as much, if you were to buy it. It's available on Game Plus, which is how I played it. Uh, so it's 50, to 50 quid, I think, whereas the original was like 25. It's also short you'll finish it between five and six hours and to be fair i don't think it's as good as the original uh, you still have the dueling sort of voices the psychosis in your brain and this time it's less interesting what they've done with them because she's more in tune with them so it's it's less like an angel and a demon more like pointing things out in the world that they do a lot of um, the storyline isn't as interesting. You are no longer the only character in the game. It, well, you know, outside of monsters that may or may not be there, shall we say. Um, you do have some supporting characters that you interact with along the way. But a lot of it is, like the first 40 minutes of it, is just a walking simulator. There's very little to do. Very, uh, There's less fighting in the game overall. Uh, they have... They say they've upgraded the fighting system, but to be fair, I don't really notice a lot of difference. Um, the animations are better, as you'd expect. It's been, what, six, seven years? Uh, but the, the core combat is, is pretty much unchanged. Uh, the graphics are being heavily loaded. I've, I've looked at a couple of uh, mainstream reviews, and it's getting really good reviews there. I don't know why I think it's... I think it's because it's a game that deals with, you know, psychoses, and so they're like, oh, that's laudable. Well, yes, but it needs to be a game as well. <laughs> and it's it's not a good value proposition for the short length. The graphics are, as I say, the assets are good, but there seems to be, like, this horrible post-processing going on that kind of makes everything blurry. Uh, I even, I turned DLSS off, because I have it usually at quality because I'm running a 3080 so you know it's, it's a good car but it needs a bit of a boost for modern titles so I even turned that off and I lost some frame rate but it still looked the same because I was thinking maybe it was the, sh the upscaling was causing it to be blurry but it's not it's not that it's definitely some sort of post-processing setting and there's no like uh, motion blur setting or anything like that in there that I could turn off um, so it is what it is. Uh, what you're seeing now is on its highest settings with DLSS on at quality. So I think I'm getting around about 70 frames a second. With it off, I'm getting about 45. Uh, there don't appear to be any ray tracing settings. So that explains why it's reasonably happy <laughs> on the high settings. So I just. And the puzzles are very similar to the first one. There's a lot of alignment puzzles, which I hate. So you have, you'll come to a locked door, which has got like this swirling mass behind it, and there will be a symbol on it, and you need to create the symbols by looking at things uh, in, in the environment by focusing. Uh, there's, you know, it's. It, I don't like things like that. It's like. They're all red, so they're not incredibly hard to find, and they're generally in a confined area, so it's, it's not rocket science, but it isn't enjoyable. Uh, there are other ones where you need to like work your way through sort of a, a maze-type puzzles, where you need to collect stuff and put them on pedestals, but, you know, it's, it's not particularly interesting puzzles. They're not brain teasers. They, they, they're almost there just to extend the length of the game, which, you know... <laughs> between five and six hours it's not a great length in it in and of itself there is a new game plus uh which i hear gives you different narrators uh, i haven't tried new game plus yet uh the ending is i'm not going to spoil it but it is 
pretty abrupt. I think it's uh, it could have done with an extra hour or two slapped onto the end to, to, to sort of round out the story a little bit and also uh, extend the playtime because for 50 quid it's not an attractive option. Really. Uh, there's no tutorial, there's no on-screen prompts or anything like that, so uh, that's what the voices are doing, basically. It's like saying, oh, you know the right place, oh, it's, look up, just she can see it, oh, it's stuff like that. It's, it's just sort of helping guide you, really. Uh, I kind of, like, have muscle memory from the first game, which is weird, because um, I haven't played it in a long time, but when I got to the combat, I kind of knew what I was doing, although... It, I think that the, the dodging is slightly different and less automatic. I think you have to be more careful with it. Uh, but that's just from memory, so... Uh, uh, there's no... I mean, God forbid you, you don't realise that there's like a run button. Because if you don't realise there's a run button, you're walking. And walking is slow as shit. And there's a lot of it. Uh, so... But, I mean, maybe you'll be able to get up to the eight hours they claim this game takes to beat. So, there you go. <laughs> maybe that's how you do it. You don't run at all. You just walk. Uh, outside of that, it's... It's okay. You know, it's, it's short. As I say, it's a short game. That's just such a big hurdle to overcome when you're on full price for a game. I mean, not all games have to be, like, 400-hour RPGs or anything like that. And you can make a good solid six hour game but at the end of the day that needs to be moving all the time when it's as sedate as sections of this game are it's kind of just boring and i mean as nice as the environment looks even even with the blurry stuff because they still do look good um wandering around them for extended amounts of time is just boring it's it, it's like the first section. I'm going to have to capture from like much later in the game because the first section is like 40 minutes of wandering about on a beach without doing a whole bunch and then you get into a fight where you meet the first sort of like secondary character. Um, I just, I wouldn't recommend purchasing this game. Uh, you know, if you want to, if you've got game pass already and you want to pick it up for like a weekend and give it a try, I think that's perfectly reasonable. It's, it's, it's the perfect weekend game, we can crack through it no problem. Uh, but outside of that, I certainly wouldn't buy it. Um, if you're super interested, maybe pick up a Game Pass subscription and try it that way. But purchasing you know, a $50 game that's a pound game that's short and kind of boring, it's, it's not great. I mean, it's, it, there are, you know, there are good bits. But, excuse me, there, there are good bits in it, but um, for, for the money, it's, it's not enough, in my opinion. If you want to play a game that messes with you and, you know, tries to put you in the shoes of someone that has psychosis and voices in their head and isn't sure of their mental state, uh, then play the first one. That, that would be my advice. It's a shame because, like, Xbox just isn't doing it in terms of their exclusives right now. I mean, we've had uh, Starfield, which I personally liked and still like, although, uh, you know, I haven't played it as much as I obviously did when I first got it, but uh, I still like it. But I know a lot of people didn't. And then you had Redfall, which was just just redful I mean ridiculous uh, so I, I don't know where this leaves Microsoft really I mean I know we've got I think they've got an Indiana Jones game coming which could be good unless it takes after the most recent movie in which case it will not be good <laughs> let's, let's hope uh, Mrs. Waller Bridge didn't get involved with that one um, and you know some of the like the Forza games are always pretty good and I, I thought Halo was fine. It wasn't the best example of the series, but I, I mean, I'm not a huge Halo fan anyway, but I thought that was okay. But at the end of the day, it's it, more of their their 
um, exclusives, well, kind of exclusives, um, are missing than hitting. Uh, I need to return home. So there you go. That's Senua Saga. Don't buy it. I will offer you what help I can. I know it's. It, it like ticks a lot of boxes that that mainstream video game reviewers like. But I wouldn't take that. With, I'd take that with a pinch of salt. Because even if it's doing the um the things that the reviewers like. It's it's not satisfying from a gaming perspective, in my opinion, and it's just my opinion. I mean, there, there are probably people out there that that really like it, and you know that's fine. But I mean, I wouldn't recommend purchasing it. I mean, if you're interested, play it, but don't purchase it. You know, get Game Pass, or you know, if you've already got Game Pass, give it a try. Maybe maybe you'll be you'll be one of those people that thinks, oh, this is. The things it's deeper than I do, basically. I thought the first game was pretty deep, but this one, no, it, it's just not as good, in my opinion. If if you like the sound of like a game like this, then check out the first one instead. I got no idea how much it's for, but it came out at twenty five quid, which was you know a really fair price for a game that's I think it was like seven or eight hours, so it was a little bit longer. I think there was a bit more to it. The the, the psychosis elements were more internal rather than just spouting off like things that are on the screen which is kind of the case here so there you go that's my review of Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 I'm never sure which way round they want us to sell that uh, say that is it Hellblade 2 Senua's Saga or is it Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 or should I just call it Hellblade 2 and, you know, for a value proposition, the first one gave you a VR version for free, which I've never tried. Maybe I should try it, I don't know. That could be interesting, having like things whispering in your ears and stuff like that. But, uh, there it is. Anyway, I'm going to go and drink something now, because <laughs> it's not at the painful stage yet, but it's at the raspy stage, so I imagine I'm, I'm going to get there pretty soon. So take it easy, guys, and I'll catch you next time. What are you going to do, Senna?